welcome back to our walk in Central Park with Light Elegance. In this video, we are of course going to use these amazing colors. We're going to use all six of them to create this super cool set. And I'm so excited to show you this because I have to say this is probably one of my favorite sets I have done up to date. It is a technique where you are layering uh, colors and shapes to create this really 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 cool depth it looks really advanced but once you break it down i promise you that it is so easy however it is a little bit time consuming if you're gonna do this on all 10 fingers but definitely go ahead and do it on like an accent nail or a couple uh, you decide depending on how much time you have of course so coming in with our second color here so i'm curing in between each color and i'm starting with the darkest one and then moving my way up so starting with that dark dark blue as a background coming in with uh the next darkest color which was that shimmering purple then we had that really cool copper shimmer metallic and now coming in with manhattan mauve and for every layer i'm creating a new shape and i'm also making sure that i'm overlaying those shapes and that is what's gonna create this really cool layering effect if you're just placing your shapes onto the nail and they don't overlap you don't get this um well 3d uh effect coming in with central park stroll to create our little uh mysterious flower this is of course very optional if you just want to stick with your base that i did here go ahead and just wrap that up with some flat matte or super shiny depending on what kind of well, look you're going for if you're adding super shiny you will get darker tones uh, so remember when you're adding a matte surface the colors and the shades are gonna go a little bit lighter but it does look better for pictures so it really is up to you and it kind of just well it it kind of flats out the the design so yeah try out and see what you like best and of course another thing to remember is that uh, when you apply something shiny over the metallics you're gonna have that metallic shine and it's gonna look almost like it's uh, like satin it's a really really cool effect when you do this with uh, this technique and for matte it's gonna be more like of a matte metallic look so here i'm just continuing using all the different butter creams and here I have done a little mix using this red Madaba play together with just white buttercream. So I've created, well, here I have three different shades based on the same uh, color. So here I'm doing another layering effect, basically, and starting with the darkest color, which is the original color as the base uh, petals, and then I am moving my way up with lighter colors. When it comes to detailing, I typically work with uh, the um, white and black gel paint. But actually for this design, I am coming in with black tie buttercream. And that is just because I don't want the design to be more bumpy than it already is. Uh, you can get a little bit more of a bumpy effect using the um, gel paint. However, the gel paint is a little bit more pigmented than the buttercream. So it really comes down to kind of what you're going for. But with the white, I tend to always come in with the white gel paint because it is a little bit more pigmented and I, I like the viscosity and I like the pigmentation. So adding some stars in the background to make it even more mysterious because, you know, the eyes on my plant are just not enough so adding some more magic element to this design because why not and then coming in with my stripey brush to create uh, some shine for some of the stars to make it even more mysterious and pretty and whatever and finishing off with you guessed it flat matte because I want to have this matte as always, but you can definitely try it out with shiny. I promise you it looks so nice. But here you have the final result and oh my God, I love this so much. I want this on my nails, but I don't have the time to do it right now, but I love it. Um, so yeah, there you have it. I really hope that you tried this out. 
for yourself please 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 tag me i would love to see what you come up with that would be so much fun and of course tag light elegance as well this fabulous collection is out now you can grab it at lightelegance.com or at your closest le distributor and you know it light elegance products are hemo free nine free cruelty free gluten free and vegan and as always we do believe that what's inside matters if you enjoyed this tutorial please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you know whenever i upload a new video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye